What is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of A Very Late TV and Movie Review. And today, I have for you Flash Episode 13, The Nuclear Man. And this episode reminds me a lot of about SpongeBob because somebody blows up. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. The intro is uh, Barry's getting ready for his date. You know, it's been a long time coming for Barry. You know, he, he hasn't been on a date and we don't know how long. It's been that long. So yeah, see him dressing up for Joe. Joe tells him, uh, stop dressing up for me. So Barry goes to his date and the date goes well. They eat tacos, you know, man, I love tacos, man. I want to eat some tacos. No cap, man. No, but not Taco Bell. Taco Bell sucks. Everything in Taco Bell tastes the same, bro. I, if you, for you Taco Bell lovers, I'm sorry. I feel bad. I'm, I'm sorry that you like Taco Bell because you're, you're missing out on real tacos. Anyway, um, Firestorm uh, approaches an old friend, uh, Quentin uh, Kell. Uh, they used to uh, be buddies in college. And the reason why he goes up to Quentin is because Quentin worked with him on Firestorm and he wants his help on how to stop uh, being Firestorm, you know, because Marcus Stein and, and Ronnie are intertwined and he, he, he doesn't want to be in someone else's body. You, you guys get that, right? Anyway, uh, Cisco, you know, he sneaks off to help out Joe. Apparently Joe needs him uh, and he wants it top secret. So if Cisco doesn't tell anyone about it. Um, get back, get, get more in depth on that later. But we're back with the flashback. Uh, Barry remembers meeting Marcus Stein in a bus uh, on the way to the Star Labs for the particle accelerator explosion that killed everybody. Uh, we also see in this uh, flashback that uh, Marcus Stein got hit with the accelerator with the uh, with the Firestorm ball thing. And that's probably why he became Firestorm. Um uh, Star Labs crew, they want to visit Calissera, Calissa, 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 Calissera, Stein, bro, I, I, I messed that up terribly, Cal Clarissa, Clarissa, Stein, Martin Stein's wife, uh, they go way back, but uh, they find out that Clarissa Stein saw Ronnie, but it was really Marcus Stein, but she didn't know, so she called the cops, and now they do a stakeout to see if Marcus Stein, a.k.a. Ronnie, comes back to Clarissa's house. So, uh, Joe and Cisco are back at it again. Uh, they go to Barry's old house to investigate Barry's mom's murder, because Joe has been doing that for pretty much this whole season. And uh, they, they see uh, it gets a little booby. If you guys know what I mean, it gets a little booby. A uh, lot of boobies. A lot of boobies. Boobies. Um, so, uh, Barry, Barry, uh, wait, no, no, uh, not done yet. So the, the reason why they're at the old house and, and first of all, what, what kind of lady moves into a place where people got murdered, bro? Uh, it, it, that's why they, that's why they're shocked. They're not shocked because of the boobies. They're shocked because a lady moved into that house. Like, like what's going on? But anyway, so, uh, we figured, we find out that Joe, uh, well, we'll get back into that later. But anyway, they discover an old mirror, right? And this old mirror is vintage. And it, it can show like, it can take like pictures because for some reason, the mirror is like magical and, and can take pictures. You know, I don't know science, guys, but that's that's what they, that's not what they said. I'm sure it makes sense, but it, it didn't make sense to me. But the mirror can show images of the past and they saw they saw a lot of things so but it, in order to see those images uh Cisco has to get something so so we'll get into that later um we, let's go back to uh Barry uh Barry leaves Linda Barry leaves Linda cuz they go on a date but uh, you know something something happens and he has to go after Firestorm you know, uh, kind of, uh, yeah, it, 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 that whole situation was awkward. You, anyway, they, they, they found blood. Now we're back with Cisco and Joe. They, they found blood 
blood and and the image just that they see they can see it with this projector that Cisco build uh and it's pretty cool and that makes sense a projector I understand what a projector is but I don't understand what a, how a mirror can just have show images from the past but anyway you know it's a show I'm not going to get into all that uh it, it's cool regardless of the facts um so uh Barry apologizes to Linda but <laughs> Iris messes everything up you know basically Iris well Linda asks Iris yo you're close with Barry right you know what's going on with him uh does he like me yada 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 and then Iris is like uh he's still kind of hung up over someone she doesn't say it's her but you know, Linda's a smart girl. She she figures out it was Iris that he, Barry's kind of hung up on. And, you know, Barry's not too happy about that. You know, Barry's trying to move on from Iris and Iris is just kind of holding him back. And so he goes t and tells Iris that, yo, I'm not into you anymore. So, so just stop it. You know what I mean? And you can understand why Barry would say that, you know, I, I, anyone would say that, you know, that's got to be annoying. Like the girl that, she, that doesn't want you but doesn't want to see you with anyone else. That's messed up, yo. That's toxic, 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 toxic. But uh, Joe tells Cisco that he believes Dr. Wells kills Barry's mom. And he has no evidence, but just pure instinct. And, and I don't have really any problems with that because you guys can obviously know that Dr. Wells is a sketchy ass motherfucker, but... I, I just wish Joe had like actual evidence instead of like, you know, an instinct. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, Cisco's like, no, it's how can it happen? He gave me a job. He got me out of the slums. I was nothing. He turned me into something. I'm going to get out of here, Joe. You, I don't want to hear none of that. Uh, but anyway, back to with the uh, Ronnie and Marcus Stein situation. Uh Ronnie's temperature is is like spiking. He's like 108. It, that's not healthy. And it's it's increasing by the minutes. And uh, he could go nuclear. Basically, he could go SpongeBob. You know the episode of SpongeBob where he ate that uh, pie? And, and Squidward knew about it, but he didn't want to tell him. He kind of felt bad, so he did everything that uh, SpongeBob wanted to do. It's kind of like this, but except... Uh, they don't do everything that Ronnie wants to do. Ronnie's just basically accepting the fact that he's gonna blow up, and it's pretty it's pretty uh, outrageous. Uh, but they they figure out a way to save Ronnie. They make a quantum splicer thingy uh, to attach to Ronnie, and they they want to give it to him, and hopefully it will uh, it will work. But. Uh, we later see that uh, it it uh, doesn't really work, or maybe we don't really know. But from what we have seen, Ronnie still blows up, um, and yeah. So uh, also we see that Doctor Wells picks up a gun. I don't know what he wants to do with that gun, but uh, he has a gun. It's pretty 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 wild stuff. Also, Cisco. May question Dr. Wells because Dr. Wells, before having the, you know, the uh, decision to make a quantum splicer, he, he, he tells them straight up like, yo, we might have to kill, kill Ronnie. And Cisco's like, yo, why would you say that? Why would we have to kill Ronnie? Basically because like in order to protect everyone, they have to kill him, right? But Cisco's like, man, maybe, I, he didn't say that, but. We we could kind of interpret that Cisco's having second thoughts about Doctor Wells being this great guy that he's always believed him to be. So I'm also having my theories as well. Maybe Doctor Wells saw how people looked at him, and they were like, "Yo, I'm gonna make this fake quantum splicer, and it, tell them it will work, so they don't look at me like I'm crazy." You know, trying to save his butt, but. I said, but, but, but anyway, uh, what do you guys think about this episode? I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, I like the whole firestorm thing. Um, hopefully, uh, he, he didn't blow up, 
you know, well, he did, but hopefully he survived the blow up. Blow up. Um, anyway, yeah, it's been a very late TV movie review. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.